This will be my last video in my series, Dehydrated Trail Snacks. We're going to be dehydrating bananas. We're going to make banana chips. First, quick little heads up, my dogs love bananas, so don't be surprised if they pop in and out of the pitcher trying to grab one. Okay, let's get started. Uh, come over here, I've got everything set up we need, and I'll show you what I'm using. Here we have the mandolin. We'll be using that to slice the bananas up. And you can see more about this in my first video of the series, Roadkill Strawberries. It just makes things a lot easier, and it cuts them in equal portions that way. The dehydration time is not as long. We got our water here with lemon juice. And what that does is it uh, stops the browning process. The uh, Quiet. You can't have one yet. It's a 50-50 mix. And, of course, we got our nanners. I've already pre-peeled these. We got some backups right here. So let's going to take one of the nanners and I'm going to stress food handling safety so make sure you clean everything, wash your area, wash your hands. We're going to grab a nanner and we're going to start slicing them up. A really quick tip, when you pick your bananas try to get them as green as possible, that really helps. And some people even put them in the freezer for a little bit. But I think, yep, this should do it. I think we got enough bananas here to make our banana chips. Get that little guy out of there. Get out of there. And the cool thing about, you want this? Here you go. The cool thing about the madeline is it catches them all in the bottom tray. So right over here we have our uh, mixture of lemon and water juice. It's a 50-50 mix. So, next thing we get to do, we're just going to grab some of these little boogers and just throw them in the lemon water. Then we're going to grab this tray real quick. Get this little guy out of the way. In the sink you go. we get our workstation all set up. So we're just going to dip. And... On these, I really don't wipe the juice off there. It gives it a nice little weird taste to it. I don't know. Some people don't like that. Uh, other toppings you can use. You can uh, dribble a little bit of chocolate on them. Uh, I've seen people use sugar. I have not done that because bananas are naturally loaded full of sugar. So, I don't know. I don't think I'll try that. If you notice, I'm setting them on the tray as close as possible without having them overlap. That way they all dehydrate at the same time. Uh, another thing I like personally to do is I do it over the towel. I don't put it in the uh, dehydrator when I'm placing items on it. That way any excess drips off down onto the towel instead of down onto the bottom of the dehydrator. That way it makes the less mess to clean up. And these are extremely slimy. So I figure I'd let you know that too. Okay, I think we're done. We've got as many bananas on there as possible. Now when they do dehydrate, they tend to shrink a little bit and then they kind of curl. So that's why they call these banana chips. So let's put them on the old dehydrator here. Grab the lid. Since this is a low-end dehydrator, you pretty much set it and forget it. Dehydration time can vary on these anywhere from 10 to 12 hours. So don't worry about the waste because around here this will not last. Oh. Scout, I dropped a banana, you want it? Scout! I dropped a banana, you want it? Okay. <laughs> These will not go to waste, especially around here since my dogs will eat freaking anything. Things they're not supposed to eat. So, we'll be back when this is done and see how it looks. Ah, 
yes, they are finally done. Dehydration time on these banana chips was right about 10 hours or so. Let's take a look and see what we have. Well, there we go. There is our banana wedges. And they didn't curl up like they normally do. For some reason, this batch didn't do that. And they didn't shrink very much either, which that's kind of a good thing. Now, as you can see, hang on. <laughs> they are stuck to the tray. Now, how we're going to get these out is I'm going to take the lid, turn it upside down, put the tray on top of it. It'll fit right in there. And then I'm simply just going to hit it with the back of the sputter knife. And it usually knocks them loose pretty quick. Hmm. And of course, we're just simply going to put them in the Ziploc bag. You can usually get... Uh, this one looks like I've got nearly three servings out of it, so that's not bad at all. Mm. I really got to quit eating them. I'll have none left for the trail. There you have it, freeze-dried banana chips. Now, honestly, these probably won't last but a couple days around the house because they're so good, and they are packed full of natural sugars, and they're that little burst of energy you just need. For long-term storage, of course, I would put one of them oxygen-absorbing pads in there, and, of course, get the food grade, and seal a meal is not a bad idea either. I really hope you did enjoy my mini-series freeze-dried trail snacks. I uh, enjoyed making them for you and I will enjoy eating them. There might, there might be, I'm not sure, a little bonus video. I gotta clean out my uh, pantry and if I find something there I'll go ahead and freeze-dry it anyway. What I'd like to hear from you are some of your favorite freeze-dried recipes. and I'd like you to share them with me, it would be really great. Uh, comments are welcome and like always, thanks for watching.